Hi students, this is Anusha, Assistant Professor, Department of Computer Science, St. Joseph College of Arts and Science for Women, Osur. So here in this video, we are going to see UDP in the computer network. There are many protocols present in the transport layer and the major two protocols are TCP and UDP. So here in this video, we are going to see UDP that is nothing but user datagram protocol. User datagram protocol is connectionless protocol and it is unreliable where uh, transmission control protocol that is TCP is connection oriented and user datagram protocol is connectionless. It has a very limited error checking capability. So that's why we'll call it, call it as unreliable protocol because it is only having limited error checking when compared with the TCP. It is a very simple protocol and it can be used with the minimum overheads. Uh, that is, user datagram protocol can be used when process needs to send a small message without any issues of reliability. In that case only, we can use user datagram protocol. When we use this UDP protocol, when process needs to send a small message, whenever the transport layer needs to send a message from one process to another process, whenever it is sending a small message from sending a small message, then we can go for UDP protocol rather than going for other protocols. So, it can send the message successfully without any issues of reliability. UDP takes less time as compared to TCP. Why it's taking less time? Because we are sending small message that too without any use of reliability. So that it takes less time when compared to TCP or SCTP, Stream Control Transmission Protocol. User Datagram Protocol is a good protocol that is the data flow in one direction. Uh, UDP is simple and suitable for query based communication. So these are all the features of the User Datagram Protocol. You can see the UDP header. It is a 32-bit header. This 32-bit header is divided into four main parts. One is the source port of 16-bit. Next is the destination port of 16-bit. And the next one is length is of 16-bit. And the checksum is of 16-bit. So, what is the source port? This is a 16-bit information is used to identify the source port of the packet. So, whatever 16-bit information is present between the source port, it is going to be identify the source port in the packet. Next, what about the destination port? This is a 16-bit information is used to identify the application level service on destination machine. Next parameter is the length. The length field specifies the entire length of the UDP or user datagram protocol. So, whatever protocol you are taking, if it is UDP or uh, IP, whatever taken, the length specifies the entire length of the protocol including header. It is a 16-bit field and minimal value is 8 byte that is the size of the header itself. And the last parameter is checksum. What is the use of checksum here? This field stores the checksum value generated by sender before sending. So here IP, IP version 4 has the field of optimal. So when checksum field doesn't contain any value, it is made 0 and all its bit are set to 0. Whenever it is not included, then you can make it as 0. So this is the header format of the UDP protocol. And this is about user datagram protocol. Thank you.